How you doing? This is Don King of 533, and we have our first of the, what we call the WWE events, because that's about where we remember this stuff starting. Uh, this is ones where you get the teapots, the knots, whatever it is you got to buy to get your upgrade to get your free parts that aren't free because you got to buy stuff to get there or prep for it. So, in many past videos, I've talked to you about prepping. We're going to specifically hone in on the airship parts event, which is what I'm on today. Uh, during this one, we were talking about golden fountains. If you're watching this at a later time, be called something else. Same principle, same math principles. All right. So I've gone over here to my airship abilities. I click assign abilities. And what we're going to do here now, do not do this if the airship parts you have came from a drop during an honor event and you stuck it on your airship. You do not get to remake this airship part unless you bought scripts. So I'm gonna go over to my screen here. Now, I'm gonna remove, 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 remove. How you doing? All right. Uh, we're gonna dismantle. I'm gonna dismantle them all. And what we're trying to do is determine, transform, yes. And I'm gonna get some numbers now. So they don't have to sit here and calculate them out. And you can calculate these out. I'm going to give you over in the forums now. There is a, and it'll be linked down in the comments below to that form where I told you what a part is worth uh, to build from one component to the next component. Got to remember, if you're on like a, a rare, then all the components below it add into that part as well. So there's a, a multiplication factor in there. Do some math. Pay attention, or if you got the scripts, disassemble them. Just look at the number right here: two million three hundred twenty-eight thousand and ninety, and I got two hundred fifty components. So I'm going back to my airship parts, but I'm going to show you where we're going to figure this out first. Now, I'm going to show you where you can do this in game, and then I'm going to show you where you can do it with me. Do, 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 do. Made myself a little cheat sheet here. Now. I built this little cheat sheet. I looked at it, knew instantly what I wanted to do for a formula. Figured it out in a few seconds what I needed. Turning that into a calculator on the website, completely different animal, because what your brain can do in microseconds is a crap load of if then statements in computer code. Like, so what I'm gonna tell you here is, here is my current high score, or was my current high score, 347,782, right? Now I'm going to divide that number by eight. You may know why eight. We're gonna divide by eight because there's eight parts. Pink. So three, four, seven. Oh, gotta do it right. And I'm doing it wrong twice. Three, four, seven. <laughs> three, four, seven. 782 divided by some infinity number. What did I got going on here? All right. 347, 782 divided by eight. 43,000. All right. Now I'm gonna go over here and show you. Here is in this row, right here, that's what a component in the sky iron's worth. So my average is higher than eight flawlesses. So I already know that to get more points, I'm gonna need some sky iron, uh, some rares, okay? So 98,000 points. But,
to get four of those. You add up. Okay, hold on. Let me pull my calculator back on. Kink. So 448 thousand plus 130,000 plus 50,000 plus 20,000 equals 578,000. Write that down. Pull it off screen so I can't write it down. So these are 578,070. Remember, I had 2,332,000. So I already know if I took that times four, well, what do I don't know? Did I add something in there? Something's not right because I know I can't build four of those components. Flag, 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 flag on a flag. We're gonna try. build all my basic ones and put four of them in there. Now, according to the math provided by the game, aha, there's where my math failed. Okay, so I'm gonna run out of uh, other components. So I gotta do two calculations. That's what I wasn't thinking of, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave this in the film here because I have to think of a second part here. So, ooh, where'd that go? Please tell me, oh, here we go. All right, so I need 54 of these. And I have 250. So that should be 216, right? Times four. Man, did I just find a bug in their math? 578070 times four. 2312280. I've got more components than that. 2312380. Right, and 216. I got more components than that. Let's go back. All right, so there's a rare. There's a rare. There's a rare. And I'm out of components. Like I said, I tried it. We're gonna do this one more time on film in case I found a bug here. Okay, so did I add up a wrong column? I could have eyeballed it wrong. Let's do it again. For 48,000 plus 130,000 plus, ah. Oh, 
hold on, did I just do that wrong again? Okay, so 448,000 plus 130,000 plus 70,000 for the end. So 648 was the number I should have been working with. Got cross-eyed on this, got a little wonky. I knew I did this before I started filming. All right. So now I know six in the 24, I'm only gonna get three. See, I even wrote the number three down to know what I got. Uh, so I can only build three of those, which is worth uh, just under 300,000. This is where you're gonna come up with your maximum leveling up because what some people think is grab the, the biggest number and go for it. That may work on that one-off flip number, but it doesn't work on the law of averages. So know what you, what you got and what you can get to by dividing out and doing the right math, of course. Uh, the, uh, I don't know where I typoed, but I typoed. So now we can go no further than that. Craft and bed. Okay, so now I'm looking over here. Single upgrade here, 50,000. I'll, I'll get two more out of these. That is my maximum high score. You can go over here, your character. We had info, we scroll down. Airship high score, 351810. And I remember we had a starting number of, what was it, 340 something? 347. All right. So if you're doing this by math calculation before you apply the stuff, then I would know that if I had already bumped it to 347 before the film started, that's why the numbers, and then I built this calculator to find out if I had any more space to build with <clears throat> to see if I could get one more component, right? The reason I want to know that is if I'd have been short uh, the precision components, I could have gone into the event itself and bought more of those, but I'm short the airship components and they're only selling 20,000 of them for 2,000 beans completely no way to get from point A to point B on that. So, uh, that is my high score for the event. And what that tells me is I need another uh, 50,000 points in order to get these 210 lanterns. Now, since I'm airship component short, we can go limited deal. Oh, how much airship component short am I? So my 50,000 points can be gotten two ways. I can upgrade this, right? Which means I need 130,000 times two, which would put me in the flawless category. Flawless would give me, oh, it wouldn't get me there. I really do need one more rare to get that last set. So I'm gonna have to go over to my, my this one. 
All right, upgrade. There I need almost a half a million. I go to limited deal. Yeah, nothing in there worth a half a million right now. Airship parts. I honestly couldn't get there with the $50 pack. So $50 would get me 200 of those lanterns, but I'd go to the limited deal. Go back up. I could get 300 of those lanterns for $19. So I wouldn't buy the airship parts for the upgrade. I would save that point gap for the next event and know that I'm gonna have to go. And then you can look at the, the chart there and see that I'm gonna have to upgrade probably two more. So I'm gonna need a million uh, or so more parts for the next event. So that gives me my goal for the next event and it tells me I should stop here if I'm going to spend money to get something out of that store, which it's very limited what's in that store this time. So I, I would I would stop. I wouldn't spend money on either one of them because I still have 900 pots left and there's no way for me to buy quantities of airship parts for those pots. So I'm going to save those pots and see what tomorrow's event is. I hope that's helped you. Thank you very much.